Hello everyone, this is Helen H. and welcome to my channel, Moss Cottage. I hope you're doing well today. I have just a very little haul to show you, but kind of big items. It's a small haul, but big items, plus an unexpected happy mail that came uh, to me yesterday uh, through the mail. That's why it's a happy mail, and I'll be sharing that with you also. But I'll go in order chronologically. So first it was Friday, I went to my favorite auction and I got myself, well, I hadn't intended to buy it for myself, but I have decided to keep it. Um, I got this great um, Olivetti vintage typewriter. It's not, it's not electric, it is just, it's called a Laterra 32. Uh, Olivetti under Underwood typewriter. It does work and I looked and I can actually get the ribbons for this still, the ink ribbons for this on Amazon. So um, I paid seven dollars for this baby <laughs> and this is just amazing. So for, and I think it's seven dollars to get the ribbon mailed including shipping. So for $14 I have a new little typewriter to play with and I thought no you know I'm gonna keep it for a while because I love the type look on documents and, and junk journals and stuff so um, even though I have absolutely no room to put it in my craft room I'm keeping it. So let me just put this down here. Of course the thing is made of solid metal and it weighs a ton. So then on so that was Friday night that was the only crafty thing that I got at the um, auction. So Saturday morning, um, my friend Barb and I went to a flea market, a big flea market that we enjoy going to, and we hadn't been for a while. We were both super excited about going, and man, <laughs> it was worth it. It was worth it, especially when we hit the booth where everything was half price. <laughs> So I got a whole bunch of stuff there, well, stuff there. So first of all, I got, um, I want to keep these separated. I got a bag of these fun scissors with different shapes that um, I'm getting into them. And I've seen a whole bunch of other people using them too. So these ones here, over here, are ones I do not have or don't have anything similar to. These ones here, I already have similar ones too. So Barb, these are coming to you. So these are ones that I have something that kind of already looks like that or is exactly like that. So those ones are going to her and these ones I'm keeping. And of course I already have some, so this is just adding some extra ones to my collection. And, of course, one of my favorite ones here, um, I can't show you because I don't have a piece of paper I can cut up right now, but this one right here, it's an edge, edge craft. Uh, it doesn't have a name, but it's like a deckled edge. It's a deckled edge, which is a little bit more than a torn edge. You know, sometimes when you tear paper, especially if you use a ruler, you get a, you get a fairly uh, straight edge, but this is really a deckled edge, and... I don't know if that's going to show kind of what what it looks like. But anyway, super excited about these. So these are, are getting put in my collection. And the whole bag of all of them, you know, these and the ones I'm giving to Barb, those were all uh, $3. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. Then um, at, at, I got this bracelet from a lady. Uh, no, it was a gentleman, but it uh, doesn't matter. It's a Christmas charm bracelet, and so it's got these little charms. Now, I paid a dollar for it, which, you know, for a bracelet, it's, it's a good price, but, you know, sometimes I'd even look for things less expensive like than that. However, this one has got beautiful charms on it. All the charms are enameled and have, like, rhinestones in them, so they're, they're really, uh, really much... Uh, better charms than usual. Um, I don't know if the camera's going to pick up the little rhinestones, but of course this is going to be torn apart, uh, not torn apart, but taken apart, and these charms will be used on December dailies. And then it also has these little rhinestone in gold uh, tone metal. It's got some of those in different colors around, and then it's got these little hanging bead ones, like this, these little pearl ones. So there's a whole bunch of charms, and then the beads themselves are, um, let's see, are they glass? No, they're, pla no, they're plastic. Um, but uh, it, it's 
the whole thing's going to be be used for uh, December daily. Long story short, there we go. Okay, I got this can, this coffee can. Didn't buy it for the can. Got it for what was in the can, which is a whole bunch of uh, Jello molds, vintage Jello molds. Now I use these at Christmas time to make ornaments, and um, I've got quite a few already. But I never ever turn these down because I do also sell them. But this also had this big one in here. Isn't that cool? I like that. So I got my Jello molds here, and those will go in my stash to make uh, Christmas ornaments. So I'm always picking up Christmas stuff. You know, when I can, I get, get my Christmas stuff. Then I went, I bought some books, some children's books. And um, this one is called Show and Tell. And it's in terrible shape. I mean, the, the spine is all taped up. The cover's not good. It's all ratty. But the pictures inside are really cute. So, of course, this is going to be taken apart. And the pictures will be used for ephemera or, you know, whatever. Um, and uh, I don't feel bad cutting it apart because it is in, in really bad shape. So um, there's that book. And then I got this one uh, called The Fuzzy Duckling. This is a little golden book. Um, this one's not in that bad shape, but it, it is a little worn on the spine and it's, it's dinged up here. It's not terrifically old because it's got a barcode on it. Um, but... Um, the pictures in this are adorable. So again, I'm going to be um, cutting this apart and using this as ephemera. So cute, these pictures. Oh, look at these. So, so cute. So that's the Fuzzy Duckling. And then I got this book here, and it's the uh, Buttons. It's a book by Tom Robinson, drawings by Peggy Bacon. Never heard of either of them. And it looks like it was a library book because it's got the numbers on the side here and this book is oh yeah it's from the Pamunkey Regional Library in Hanover so that's not far from here this book just has black and white cat illustrations so I thought some of these would be really cool like on tags and stuff or cards these these funny little cats here so it's a whole book just with fun little cat pictures. So that's also going to be taken apart. So all three of them not in great condition, so I don't mind taking them apart. Now before I forget, i got to pull this little guy. I could not leave him there. Look at this tiny little teddy bear. Is he not adorable? Look at him. Yeah, I got him for me. I just had to. He, he's just so cute. Yeah, he's staying with me. Okay, then I got this book. It is the Scand Creative Coloring for Grown-Up Scandinavian Folk Patterns. And this is a really good coloring book. Um, most of the pages, I would say, except for maybe this one here and um, maybe one or two of the other ones, are the, the graphics are small, small enough and they are on both sides that I can use these in journals and you'll have a good picture on both sides. You know, if you get, uh, see, now he might be a little bit problematic because if I fold him in half this way to use him in a journal, I'll have his eyeballs on one side and his hiney on the other, you know what I mean? Yeah, you can unsee it with a girl too. So I might like fussy cut them and use them separately, but most of the pages are just patterns. And so when you, if you fold them up, it would be cool. This fish one's really cool. Um, yeah, so... Um, Look at the snowflakes. Isn't that beautiful? So this is definitely going to be taken apart and used for junk journals. Okay, then I got this box. Ugh. This was the last crafty thing that I got at the sale, I believe. I got this box of music. This is all old music. And, you know, I was just getting to the point where I needed some more music to make... Um, uh, ephemera packs because I sell them in the shop but this is awesome music it's like just perfectly yellowed these pages aren't are nice and uh, sturdy you know they're not crumbling or anything so there's lots of good music in here and then I think these here are uh, no not that one there's something in here where is it uh, just the it's just the paper. I don't know what it's called. No, where did it go? It's in here somewhere. Just the lined paper that you use to make your own music. Um, here it is, this. It's called Shermer's Manuscript Music Book. And um, 
it's just lined paper that you can make your own music. So I thought that was really cool too. So this whole book, this whole box is just music books, band books, all this. And they're all old and kind of yellow, but like they don't seem to be so old that they're crumbling and, and difficult to use. Okay, so let me move this stuff out of the way real quick. And then I'll show you the little unexpected happy mail that I got from Gretchen, uh, one of my um, longtime uh, channel followers and one of my YouTube friends because Gretchen and I um, communicate quite often with each other. So she sent me this little pouch here with some goodies inside. And I'm going to show you the goodies and then I'm going to tell you why she sent me this pouch. So she sent me these laser cut, and I don't have any of this stuff, Gretchen. These laser cut um, crosses, aren't they beautiful? And, you know, these ones, I'm noticing each one of them has something up at the top. So these would make great dangles even. I could paint them up or something. But each one of them has some place that I could put a eye. Um, uh... All right, sorry about that, guys. My memory card got full and I had to go delete some videos off of it. But anyway, as I was saying, each one of these has a hole in the front that I can put an O-ring on and hang it as a dangle if I want to. So thank you, Gretchen, for those. She sent me these two little cards. These were from the stenciling cloak collab that she and I recently participated in that was sponsored by Susan from Susan Hiles Art and Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. And she kind of imitated the, what I had done uh, to make these cards. And I love how they turned out. And I'm not sure if the camera will see, but these little girls are popped up. They're, they're three-dimensional. How cute are these? And then she's got... Uh, lines on the back so that I can journal with them. I love these. These are so adorable. Gretchen does not have a YouTube channel, but she does post on Instagram. So um, you can catch her work. She is nature lover on Instagram. So those are so cute. Thank you, Gretchen. And then she made me this lovely card here. It's shaped like a tag and it's got the coolest trim on it. It's it's green and it's got like fuzzy and it, like little fuzzy things and then it's got little bows but they actually it look more like leaves and then she textured this I think this is texture paste this pink right here and it says love and then she wrote me a nice, nice little note on the other side and I love that Gretchen that's probably going to hang on my um, bulletin board for a while she sent me this cute little notebook, Rejoice Always, from 1 Thessalonians 5.16, and it's a great little pad, and anybody who knows me knows that I am a list maker. I think I have lists of my lists. That's how much of a list maker I am, so that will be well used, and I just love, love, love. It's like painty, all like paint scraped on and stuff. It's so, so cute, so I love that. Thank you, Gretchen. And she sent me this beautiful piece of acetate, printed acetate. Um, let's see if you can see that. No, that's not going to work, Helen. What do you? I don't have anything white here. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe this. Maybe this. Okay, sorry. I'm going to have to show it to you against a grungy piece of paper here that I use as a splat paper. But look how beautiful this is. And I'm thinking I may actually fussy cut these butterflies out and use them that way. I'm not sure. I have to be sure before I cut it up, but it's beautiful, so I, I appreciate that, Gretchen. And then, of course, the, the last thing was the envelope itself, and the reason she sent me this envelope, she did get it at the Dollar Tree, and she told me that in her note was she keeps her stencils in these. Now, when I was doing my stencil video uh, with that collaboration, I was talking about lamenting how I don't know uh, how to store my stencils, and I think this is a great idea. Now, my 12 by 12s won't fit in there, and I, I don't have anywhere that I can see that I can, they would fit, I think, sideways, but obviously they're not gonna fit this way. You know, I wouldn't be able to close it. I could stick them in there, but I don't, 
I'm looking around and I don't really see off the top of my head someplace I could keep that. But where my 12 by 12s are, they don't really bother me. It's the small ones that are, that uh, bother me. So I might just put them all in here. And I love this idea. And if I have more than fit in here, at least she's let me know that the Dollar Tree has these envelopes and that I could go and get one, you know, another one if I needed one. So Gretchen, thank you so much, honey, for this, this uh, very unexpected and very appreciated little happy mail I love everything that you sent me and um, yeah I just feel super blessed at all the things that I was able to get to Friday Saturday and then yesterday with this this um, little uh, uh, happy mail everything that I have gotten the last couple days and um, both Friday night and Saturday I was able to get a bunch of stuff for my antique booth also so it was just a very very nice weekend um, and I'm just so appreciative of all the blessings um, that are coming my way so guys I hope that you are out there getting some good stuff too uh, hit your thrift shops hit your yard sales it's that time of year now there should be lots of yard sales going on check out estate sales if you've never been to an auction go go try it out if you're afraid of it that's fine just go one night and just watch don't even you know you don't even have to get a number you can just go and watch but auctions are so fun and now depending on where you live um, if you're in a more rural area they uh, sometimes have on-site auctions at houses where you can just go out in the yard and and buy stuff so um, all these great places, flea markets, if I haven't mentioned that, all these great places to get stuff. So, um, you know, we don't always have to get uh, brand new stuff, although that's fun too. But sometimes the thrills in the hunt and when you get these good old oldie things uh, at, uh, you know, that are already used, it's, it's very fun also. So guys, I'm going to stop prattling on. Please give me a thumbs up for this video. And if you haven't subscribed, I ask that you do. I've got a whole bunch of fun projects coming up soon. And until the next video, I hope you're all truly blessed. Bye-bye.